Coach, if you want to start with the opening statement, and we'll open for questions. Yep. Um, hope everybody had a happy holiday season. I know there's some a lot of ever changing times right now and in college basketball. Uh, I'll give you kind of a quick update where we are. Uh, obviously, we haven't played in 15 days. Our team was down probably four of our top six, but would, would, was definitely going to play against Florida. Uh, we had seven guys uh, available. Um, and then uh, looking forward to going to Tennessee. Um, you know, obviously, Robert Allen had successful surgery. He's out. Uh, Jarkel Joyner has had a, some lower back issues. He hadn't practiced in a week. So it'll be questionable whether Jarkel goes on the trip or not. Uh, be a game time decision, maybe be a decision made uh, today. Uh, we had two guys test. Uh, we were in the COVID protocols right after the break. We just got them back. Uh, we just had two guys today enter the COVID protocol today, just in the last 30 minutes. Uh, you know, they've changed. The CDC has changed. Used to be when we were vaccinated, there was no close contact. Now you have to be boosted. And so we were 1,000% vaccinated, not fully boosted. That just changed in the last few days with the CDC. So you can be considered a close contact if you're not boosted, even though you're vaccinated. Um, and uh, so that's kind of where we're at right now. We've had two full-time assistants, four other support staff, that have been in protocols, they're presently all back, which is a good thing. Uh, so it's kind of run through through our team a little bit. Um, but I can tell you this, if we have seven scholarship players, we're gonna go to Tennessee and play our tail off and do everything we can to, to play that game. Uh, I, I do think, you know, there may be some, I know coaches can, can make some decisions, but that's one thing. We're gonna be in the integrity of the game and for the fans and for the players who are available, we're going to try to everything we can do to play. Uh, so with that being said, we, uh, uh, we've had some good practices the last couple of days. Uh, you know, it's, it's college basketball guys in and out, and that's just what we dealt with last year. Uh, everybody, not just Ole Miss, uh, are going to go play a really good Tennessee team uh, that is nationally ranked. It's been a very good home team, been good everywhere, very well coached, real, real good depth. Uh, and, uh, you know, so uh, we're looking forward to that. We haven't had game day – I mean, our practice today, we're scheduled to practice here in about 45 minutes and then leave for uh, Knoxville uh, around 3 o'clock today. Courtney, go ahead. Hi, Coach. Do you know what percentage of your team right now is currently boosted? Yeah, I just looked at it, and I wish I, – I, I should – I just looked at it in the last 30 minutes – uh, you know, what happened, the, the, our last day here before the break, we offered the booster to all of our team. At that time, we the rule was not in place about the close contact. The CDC had not done that at that particular time. Uh, we have quite a few that's boosted. I would say out of the 13 scholarship guys, and I'm just more than half, and I should know that, you know, we still have some guys that couldn't get boosted based on coming out of the, the window, you know, of, of COVID that has previously had it. Uh, I can give you that exact number at a later time. Uh, so, but we've, we've had some guys that, that, that have done it and others that, that have not. And just a quick follow-up to that, how frustrating has it been given that you came into the season thinking things were probably going to be more normal and not kind of how it was last year, and now it almost feels as though we've reverted back to what we were dealing with last season? Yeah, you know, and, I, and everybody's going through it. It's not just Ole Miss. Our women's team have gone through it. Uh, yeah, it is frustrating. You know, we thought it was behind us, and, uh, you know, I know the variants for, for young people – uh, you know, the, the people in our program that have, that have tested for it, it's been really, really mild, mild cases, you know, in a day or two, they're just, you know, uh, felt, felt normal again. So, uh, yeah, it is. It's, I hate it. I hate it for the players. I hate it for the fans uh, that we're back at it again. But, you know, there, there's a lot of teams that are paused right now, but uh, we're, we're going to coach the heck out of the guys that are available every single day and you just coach where your feet are and that's just what we're going to do. Thank you. David, you can go ahead. Hey, Kermit, can, can you talk a little bit about the testing protocol for your team? Are these guys symptomatic 
and, and wanting to be tested or how exactly does that play out? Yes, yeah, a great question. Uh, you know, you only get tested now if you're symptomatic, David. And uh, so we had uh, the, the guys that have all, we've had a couple, you know, that they just had kind of the flu or cold or signage uh, in the last, you know, six or eight days. Um, but, you know, like a, a, the, the kid today, I won't mention his name, was, was symptomatic. He tested, uh, t- came back positive, and then he had a close contact and his roommate wasn't boosted. Uh, obviously vaccinated. Uh, so, but then what happens, and it's not my call, you know, but if there's too many in your program, then for medical safety reasons, then they can go and say, okay, we're going to test your, your team, you know? And so that's, that's a decision that our doctors on campus make that our trainer makes. I have nothing to do with that at all. And I don't want anything to do with that. I just want, if it's for safety of our players, a thousand percent for it. But if we've got seven guys, scholarship players, and one full-time coach that can play, then we're going to go play. Gotcha. So, so has your whole program been tested at some point over the last few weeks? Not, not everybody have not, you know, not everybody. Uh, I mean, because of the symptomatics, we've just been tested if you've been, you know, if you've had symptoms. So, so at this time, our, our whole program, just as a program, we have not, you know, like myself, I have not, and if I felt great and I've been vaccinated and been boosted, obviously it was symptomatic, unless somebody says we need to test everyone in the program, then we will. Thanks coach. Yep. Nick. Kermit, when it comes to game cancellations, at what point does the SEC step in and at what point is it your discretion of having seven players? Yeah, it's not ever going to be mine. Because, like I said, I, I know I'm repeating myself, Nick, but if we have seven scholarship guys, that's the number. Seven scholarship guys and one full-time coach. And it doesn't have to be the head coach. It could be one full-time assistant uh, on your staff. Then you play the game. And that's the SEC protocol. I think it's so unfair to fans that if coaches start playing – you know, testing and all this different things. So uh, that's the rule, and that's what we're going to adhere to. And if we, like I said, if we've got seven scholarship players, we're going to go to Knoxville. Michael? And Kermit, I know uh, after the last game when we talked to Jarkel, he, he said he really, you know, the, having that week off was, was kind of tough because he really wanted to get back out there and play. Well, now it's been two weeks. What, what are kind of the challenges of, of not having gotten back out there, especially after the way the last game went? Yeah, you know, we uh, it was disappointing. You know, it's college basketball, and obviously the team we played was terrific that particular night. Uh, and, you know, we had a chance. I've never been involved in a game where you you thought you won, you thought you tied, and then you lost. And But we, we put ourselves in there. Uh, our team has come back and had some really good practices. Obviously, we hadn't had our whole team. And then last Tuesday, Jarkel just doing something really, really simple. Uh, started, you know, feeling some, some lower back pains and he hadn't practiced since he's tried a few things and it hadn't been great. Uh, so I hate that for Jarkel because I know, you know, how much time and effort he's put into it. Uh, so that's what sometimes you don't realize, you know, you add COVID into regular basketball injuries, you know, and that's when the, the numbers kind of, uh, mount up a little bit. Uh, so, but I, but I've been really proud of our guys. The guys have been out there, we've, we've had good practices, uh, very enthusiastic, looking forward. They were, they were, you know, obviously devastated. They really wanted to play against Florida, you know, at home. And uh, looking forward to, to, obviously, we had an open date on Saturday, uh, but to play a good Tennessee team tomorrow. Neil, go ahead. So, Kermit, just to clarify, is, is Jarkel available for tomorrow with his back issue? Yeah, I, I don't know. I'd say it'd be very questionable, uh, Neil. It would be very questionable. He's he's back at the dock and and doing a few things right now. So I couldn't rule him out completely, but it would be very questionable. And, and we'll let you guys know uh, if he's available or even if he if he makes the trip. And obviously this is just by kind of a big picture thing. This is kind of happening all over the place with games getting canceled and all that kind of stuff is – is there any concern on your part about the ability to kind of get to the finish line with this season, with the way that the testing protocols and all that is? I, I don't, Neil. I really don't. I have full faith that we're going to do that. There's going to be some blips in the road. The only thing is, you know, my concerns are rescheduling. You know, last year we built into rescheduling. And, and this year, you know, because we didn't, you know, nobody foresaw this. You know, we didn't. But 
Okay, so Florida canceled on us because of their protocol. You know, they had too many guys. We were, we were going to play. And they didn't have enough guys to play. Well, we're supposed to go back to Florida. I mean, what is that? Does Florida have to come here? Or do we play the one game there if they can't reschedule the other one? So those are all things that, you know, I think we're all trying to, to figure out. We sure all hope that we can reschedule dates, you know. And we tried, I call the SEC office, you know, to see if there's – any kind of dates. You may play a Saturday, Monday, Wednesday. I don't know. But uh, what can we do in the future to make these games up? You know, especially because, number one, the fans. And then, obviously, you know, number one is your, is your uh, players.